because all of a sudden you've got to deal with all the challenges of being in classrooms, you know, practice facility, working out, doing all the things you need to do to be successful. And those professors, at the end of the day, care about one thing, and that's that you are learning. They don't care about all of that. They want to know that you are learning what you need to do to be successful. So those challenges of taking on that hard assignment, it's going to be painful. And then, when you get out of here, I can tell you now, you have not found the challenge of a boss who doesn't care. I've had plenty of them. You're going to have plenty of them. You're going to come out of this environment. You're going to be working with or for somebody. And they're going to give you the challenge of saying, hey, I need for you to give up your weekend because there's something truly important for the company that I need for you to do. It's going to be scary. But you're going to need to put all that stuff behind you. Because taking on those challenges and succeeding in those challenges are the way that you're going to grow. It's going to fall apart of your journey. The one thing that I want you all to walk away from that discussion is something that, you know, at the end of the day, we always say to ourselves, in my life and those of people who work with me, I make them say it as well. But it's something that I want you to walk away from this You've heard me say this before. Nothing good comes easy. Nothing easy shows how good you are. As I've said many times, some of you heard me speak in the spring. As I said in the spring, the experiences that you're getting here at JMU are fantastic and quite unique. I've been associated with education for a long time. And I've not seen a place that put together the combination of an incredibly unique, engaged student experience with what I consider, frankly, the strongest core leadership team from a coaching staff that you have right now. I have not seen that before. The quality of the experience that you're getting right now from the leaders that you have as coaches, from the leaders that you have as part of this administration, and the environment that you're getting the opportunity to participate in is truly unique. I want you to respect that and honor it. As a business owner, I now, and again, I really didn't quite get all of these things because I too am on that same journey and learning a lot. I now understand how the foundational skills and experiences that I got here and that you're getting right now are helping me to be successful and will help you to be successful in anything else that you choose to do. But the question that I ask more right now than I've ever asked before in my life is what really is success? Now, a lot of you folks will sit back and say, oh, well, you know, it's about money. Is it about the mission? Is it about financial success? And what you're getting in this experience right now will give you every opportunity to make a really good living for yourself when you get out of here. There are a lot of people that have done extraordinarily well. You can go ask the CEO from IBM, the CEO from General Motors, the CEO from General Electric. They've done pretty well. They were all college football players, and not one of them stepped foot on the field as a professional. But is that success, making money? I contend it's not. At least I've learned that. Is it about fame? Is it about notoriety? A lot of people think that it's about how many followers I have on Twitter, how many people know who I am, how many uh, times I can contend that, hey, you know, I'm popular. Well, you know, it's not about that. It's not about fame. From what I've learned, success is not about fame. It's certainly isn't about notoriety because, frankly, there are a lot of young men who play college football who have great notoriety. Many of them, as you probably know, are in the system today. That's not what you want. 